Amid the coronavirus care, kailangan nyo ba ng emergency power? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make your own DIY disinfecting solution with bleach because hindi lang dapat ang konsensya natin ang malinis. Hey friends, nandito naman po tayo sa bagong episode na nasa bahay lang tayong lahat. So now, we have a new video. Bilang pagod na pagod na ako mag-TikTok at sa never-ending disappointment na nakikita ko sa news. <coughs> Mass testing now. <coughs> no to VIP testing. <coughs> Anyway, here we go again. In this video, we're gonna learn how to make your own disinfecting solution and how to apply said solution, the who, what, when, where, how, because dito po may pag-guidelines tayo, hindi lang militar. Before we move on, special thanks to the Philippine Pharmacists Association because sila actually yung nag-suggest ng topic sa akin na to. And they're also the ones fact-checking my stuff and the science behind this bleach solution. Buti pa ako, may fact-checker, samantalang iba dyan sa Facebook. Mm. Anyway, ayan ho, giving credit where credit is due and listening to actual medical professionals, hindi tulad ng iba dyan na may sariling recommendations when it comes to an actual health crisis, tapos eventually mag-order rin pala ng lockdown, like ano ba talaga? But reminder, facts are facts when it comes to cleaning and disinfecting, but opinions are all mine. And because we're on the topic, also another reminder that facts are different from opinions po. Facts don't change even if hindi kayo naniniwala. Fact pa rin siya. Opinions, on the other hand, are dependent on your point of view. Like, fact. People are dying because of COVID-19. Fact. There aren't enough COVID test kits in the Philippines. Fact. Asymptomatic government officials are getting tested for COVID-19 despite guidelines which say that they shouldn't. On the other hand, an example of an opinion would be if I say, example lang to ah, basura na mga privileged government officials who get tested despite guidelines that say they shouldn't get tested. And when they do that, they actually take a test kit from a frontline health worker who legitimately needs it. So ayun nga, in that example, one may argue that what was said was just an opinion because these people who are government officials are not in fact literally trash. I digress. Anyway, last time I reviewed alcohol, but this time around, we're gonna make our own disinfecting solution. Because hindi lang tayo dapat nagmamalinis, dapat ang surroundings natin ay malinis din. So first things first, what can I use this solution for? What we're gonna make is for cleaning surfaces that are often touched, like for example, doorknob, bed frames, bedside tables, even toilets. On the other hand, these are not to be used for fabrics, not for people. Alam ko may mga taong madudumi ang konsensya, but alas, this is not for them. Not your hands or your skin. Not for food containers. Not for eating. Alam ko, we're hungry for actual and legitimate change. But guys, this is not also it. Not for pets. And unfortunately, the solution is not for making our public officials accountable or for purging social media of fake news and blind fanaticism. On to the ingredients. You're gonna need bleach, so a common brand for bleach would be Zonrox. But if you're not familiar with the brands, you can just check. You need to find at least 5% of sodium hypochlorite. Did I say that right? Hypochlor- Hypochlorite. Hypochlor- Sounds like hypocrite, no? Ay, maraming ganyan. Sumisweldo galing sa kaba ng bayan. The next thing you're gonna need is water. So tap water is okay. But according to our pharmacist's friends, it's better if you use boiled water. Although, make sure that it's cool. So, do not use hot or actual boiling water because it will deactivate the activity. At ang huli pong ingredient ay ito. Our responsibility to ourselves and those around us to keep our homes and our spaces sanitized because at this point in time, tayo lang po ang aasahan natin or the very few competent locally elected officials. Pero yung iba nga nasa sermonan pa at 1 a.m. So, you know, we need this ingredient. And before we continue, some important warnings. So, when you try to make this disinfecting solution, make sure that you're protected. You will be needing gloves, goggles, and a mask. Although, hindi ko alam kung saan tayo kukuha nun bilang kahit sa mga frontline health workers, nagkukulang ko lang sila. Story of our lives, di ba? Siguro the offered solution to us in this health pandemic can become useful when we make this disinfecting solution ren, no? So in short, social distancing na lang tayo habang ginagawa natin to, ba? Parang... 
Okay, joke. Since ayoko namang magsayang ng bleach just to prove a point and illustrate how to make a disinfecting solution, bilang ngayon, mahirap lumabas at bumili ng bagay-bagay, I will just simulate making the disinfecting solution. Total sa naman tayo sa mga fake na pakalat-kalat online, di ba? Also, make sure that when you do this, you're in a well-ventilated area. Well-ventilated, yung bukas, airy, mahangin. Parang yung mga politiko, pag-election, tapos pag naboto na sila, ayun, wala. Also, make sure that each solution you make, you label and you put a date on. It would be best if you make patches for daily use. When you store the solution, make sure you don't use metal containers because it will corrode the metal. Just like how our faith in politicians have been corroded, seeing how they've been acting in this health pandemic. It's actually better if you store the solution in opaque bottles. Yung medyo dark na parang sa mga gamot that you can't see through because may tint. Alam mo naman tayo, hindi mahilig sa transparent, kaya maraming lumulusot na anomalya dito sa sambayan ng Pilipinas eh. And the last and final warning would be to keep this solution out of reach of children. Moving on to the procedures. So basically, the instructions would be to dilute one part bleach to 99 parts water. So for example, that would be 1 ml bleach and 99 ml water. If you're making a batch that's only 10 ml, that would be 0.1 ml bleach and then 9.9 .9 ml. Okay, alam kong it's medyo hard, especially for people like me who can't deal with math even in times of crisis like this. So I have an easier way for all of you guys. For example, this is your measuring container and puno ng bleach. So this isn't actual bleach. I'm just using some pink hair dye to stimulate all our visual learning. The pink solution is, for example, bleach. And also, you can use any little container. May it be a tiny measuring cup or a shot glass. Alam mo na. We're gonna take this and put one part of bleach. Take your water and add 9 parts. And this is the resulting solution. But wait, there's more! Tulad ng tuloy-tuloy na pasabong na disappointment ng gobyerno. What we're gonna do next is from the resulting solution, we take one part. Of course, again, dapat may protection dito, dapat naka-glove. And then you take another bowl. Put the one part there, add nine parts water. Yeah, kaya nyo kailangan ng gloves. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is your final solution. Sa dumila nga, hindi sa mga problema sa magmalakad ng bansa natin. Ito namang natira, you can make into more batches like this, so it just makes all the math easier. And we're done! Anyway, review lang ha, hindi naman sa sinasabi ko na mababa ang comprehension ng mga tao sa internet, pero ang rami pa fake news, so parang ganun na nga. First off, who? Ikaw po, tayo pong lahat, especially yung madudumi. Yung konsensya. Pero parang nagpa-VIP testing na yung mga yon so parang okay na sila? What? Ayan na nga, hindi nakikinig. 1 is to 9 po, tapos isa pang 1 is to 9. Then you have a solution for your home, but unfortunately not the solution for government ineptitude. When and where? So you should disinfect your environment when 1, you're on lockdown or quarantine. 2, every time and any time a person goes in and out of your home. And 3, if there's a patient in your house who's in isolation, you have to clean daily. So what you're supposed to do when you use this solution is first wipe the surfaces with soap and water. This is because organic substances deactivate the bleach. So after you wipe with soap and water, dry the surface and then you can 1. Wipe with a damp cloth with this solution, leave for 10 minutes and then wipe dry. Or you can spray this solution, leave for 10 minutes and then wipe dry. For things that don't tolerate bleach, like for example, fabrics or let's say your smartphone or electronics kasi baka masira, alam mo na, you can use 70% ethyl alcohol. And alam nyo naman may alcohol review ako so you can go check that out and watch it pero keeps run lang naman kung hindi because even if you watch it or not, wala naman ako na earn na pera from there, wala naman ako na kurakot na pera. <clears throat> 
So cabs lang either way. Anyway, FYI lang that this is the preferred disinfecting method for your environment prescribed by the World Health Organization. So the first option would be this bleach solution and if not possible, the second best option would be alcohol. For disinfection ng mga cancer sa lipunan, wala pa namang advice si Hu. And before I go, reminder lang naman, total nandito na tayo lahat, maghugas ng kamay. Wash your hands. Hindi maghugas kamay ha, itong mga politikong maghugas ng kamay. I'm posting the actions of proper hand washing here, so paki-screenshot na lang. And then, you need to be washing your hands for 20 seconds. So to make it more fun, I can show you a sample of Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive. Or if you want something for the younger crowd, this is Mimia with her own song that you can sing to the tune of maghugas nga kayo ng kamay. Mimia, oh yeah. Baby, skirt, skirt on me, baby. Also, make sure that when you sneeze, you cover your mouth with a tissue or with your elbow. And finally, guys, stop touching your face. One last thing, bilang I am so sure na may hirito na naman ako na ano bang ambag mo. Maliban sa fact na government officials nga and they exist for you and not the other way around and literal public servants so please si translate nyo na yun para magets nyo so you should always keep them accountable. You can check out various charities that exist to help people who are in need in this time of health calamity. Tayo talaga mga Pilipino we're so nice. We try to help kahit trabaho talaga ng mga na Halalian. One specific organization which aim to help all our doctors, health workers, and frontliners is Lawyers for Doctors Philippines. I will link them down below with a few other charities. Hanapin nyo na lang sa comment section because I'm sure marami na namang trolls dyan na maraming sinasabi displaying their ignorance and blind fanaticism. So yun. Yun lang. Over it na ako. Kebs. Bye!